And also, um, another thing I, I noticed, you were either the only speaker in that conference, or I think there was another one, but most of the others didn't do that, who presented not from behind the lectern. There was a lectern on stage there, and everybody presented from behind the lectern, whereas you were there with us on stage, very close to the audience. Could you tell us why you made that choice? Yeah, I don't want a barrier between me and the audience. Um, you know, it's a nice, comfortable place, and if you're unsure, you can put your notes on it and so forth, but it, it serves as a barrier between you and the audience. If you really want to truly engage with people, you, you lose those barriers. Um, I'll often, depending on the room layout, uh, if it's a smaller room that's got a small stage at the front, I won't stand on the stage. I'll come and, and I'll be close to the front row. And, and that's not ideal. I'm not the tallest guy in the world. So there is a trade-off. I've got to recognize if it's a bigger room, everyone's got to be able to see me. Um, you know, it's easy if you're six foot plus to just come off the lectern. But uh, I, I try and be aware of that, but I hate to feel confined. Mm. Um, and I hate, to, you know, some of these rooms, you'll end up with a, a platform at the front and then a, a long uh, space before the first row. And that, even if there's no physical barrier, that space is a barrier to me as well. So if it's a big event with a big conference and a big stage, that's different. You, you need to be on the stage. Yeah. Um, but where I can, I come into the audience. 